Every day is a learning day. Every <laughs> day for joining us already. Hello. Oh, gorgeous. That's good. Good, good, good. Um, <laughs> hello, people joining us. Yes, hello. Me and Bingle, we're here to give you some tarot fun. Now this Is it Friday? No, it's not even close. <laughs> <laughs> it's close. It's the upshot of being self-employed, isn't it? <laughs> what day is it? Who knows? <laughs> Yeah, you can see how this is going to go. This is going to be great fun, and uh, we're going to we're going to rock it. We're going to have great fun, and uh, we're going to introduce the thing. Bill, he's got a very exciting story. Um, since uh, you know, I've been witnessing his trajectory over. I think it was two thousand and seventeen. You're smashing it. Yeah, it was November 2017, I think, or October. Yeah, October, yeah. November. Yeah. So, yeah, so we're going to tell, we're going to talk to you about the, his trajectory since then. And don't worry, it's not going to be a, a big thing. We're kind of like, you know, fish bash bosh. So we're going to just... A whistle stop tour. That's the one. Yeah, like, a whistle stop tour for my life. <laughs> <laughs> and... Starting from five onwards. <laughs> What happened at five? Five years old. Don't worry. I was, don't worry, I was making a bad <laughs> joke. Ignore me. Tara came into my life when I was four, so I wanted to. Think okay. Thinking. Yeah, I was a late bloomer. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have lots of lovely fun, and uh, we're going to do a tarot exercise with you guys. So, if you have your tarot. Yes, it's at the red thing. And actually, you could do it with Oracle as well, I reckon. Yeah, absolutely. And so, if you don't have a deck, you can pull up an image on the internet as well. You yeah. Don't actually have, yeah. Absolutely. I love that. Um, or just tune into hours, I guess, as well. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Okay, great. So, we've got some lovely people joining us. And any questions that you have for Bingle, we will come round to after we've done the whistle stop tour of Finkel's life since he was five, or he was 35. <laughs> <laughs> was it 35? I'm 35 now. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Anybody think you're psychic, Tiff? <laughs> <laughs> like that. And then, um, and then we'll do the tarot fun together, and then we'll come around to your questions. We've got lots of people saying hello, just to let you know that... Um, if you don't register with StreamYard, what comes up is it says Facebook user. That's absolutely fine. You can use that to stay anonymous. Um, but if you want us to know your name, then place it in the end of your comment so that we know. Also, because we'll be coming to comments at the end, it's really quite important to speak very clearly. So practice Don Miguel's five agreements and the third agreement of uh communicate as clearly as possible you know what it's like on social media it's just bish bash bruge but by the time we come round, if you're saying things like oh yes i do that we're not going to have a clue what you're talking about so a little challenge for you today is to omit the word that or this or is from your vocabulary and be clear with your communication and knowing that we're coming round at the end and it won't be in context Okay, so hey Leslie, hey Sophie, hey Manu, uh, let's get on, let's get this show on the road. Hi Maria, great to see you here. Okay, Fingal, so I came across you or you came across me um, because of a Buddhist monastery. You've got smashing memory. It's absolutely, it's... All those generation games I watched when I was a <laughs> <laughs> um yes completely right i almost got excommunicated no I, i'm i'm joking um so i was on i was on a buddhist retreat and i remember sitting in a corner and pulling out my tarot cards and laying them down because i was doing like a little five card spread and um somebody kind of peeped over my shoulder and said oh do you read the tarot and look round and it was fiona who was on your course yeah, and then we got to chatting, and then yeah, she she was basically started singing your praises, and I think it took about two months or something of it just to kind of trickle through, percolate, and then yeah, and then we jumped on a phone call, and then the rest was history, really. Yes, yes, and I think you said to Fiona like, "Oh, 
I jumped on the phone call. The next thing I know, I mean, I was in the course. <laughs> it's a bit like that with you. <laughs> 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 as, 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 as a compliment of course thank you very yeah. much yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and so what was your reason for joining well, I mean you know lots of people they have they come to tarot you know let's let's go there first you know mm. what how did tarot come into your life so it came through, came into my life quite late on I think I was about 28 or something and I was gifted a deck um, mm. by a friend and I remember actually it's interesting because I've only recently remember that my sister got a deck when I was about 16 and I remember she sent me a reading that she'd done through the post and she'd kind of I think even the the knight of cups had arrived up in this reading and she, she was explaining she said oh I'm, I'm still quite new so I'm looking at the meanings and kind of writing them. But I remember being kind of really waiting on bated breath for this reading and kind of pouring over it and being really excited by it so even from that kind of age even though I'd never really come across it before I was still really fascinated with thinking what is this thing oh I want to know more I want to know more um but the main reason that tarot kind of really works for me is because I'm, I'm very much creative I work for mm -hmm. a kind of creative background so it, it it's a perfect blend for me between the visual and the spiritual mm. so it's the kind of rich symbolism it's the rich imagery it's the kind of illustrative aspect of it that really really works for me um so yeah, yeah. when you say works for you what what does it do for you I, I remember somebody saying the tarot is a bit like having a life coach in your pocket and I thought that was a really that's but I think it's not even a life coach it's a soul coach isn't it it's mm -hmm. like it keeps kind of nudging you in the right directions and it keeps kind of tapping into it but there's something quite I think with with a, with other things uh, because it works on the visual there's there's very little uh, um obstruction like there's something that you look at a tarot card and you just get it i don't i don't quite know how to explain it but there's something you look at it and you just you can kind of instantly resonate with it and i think that's what really works for me uh -huh. I, I really feel you like especially with what you're saying with the life coach and the soul coach <laughs> um because you know with coaching like if I just coach someone, I feel like I often come against the ego, yes? Yeah. But like if I just give them the tarot and put them on a journey and step back, yes, um, it's like that. there is no ego. The, the, the tarot transcends all of that and that's why the transformation can happen. So in a way, magically, easily, not so heavily, da-da-da-da, um, I mean, I think that was kind of like your trajectory as well. I mean, what was it that made you want to to do the course, which was then called the Transformational Truth of Tarot, but is changing its name now? This is the first time I'm officially saying it publicly. Oh, ooh. <laughs> I've been teasing and I've I've, I've uh, put hints all over the place. So it's probably really obvious to people, but I'm like making this like thing of like, uh, it's now being called Manifest a Miracle a Month amazing right mm -hmm. yeah you do like your alliteration don't you i do yeah <laughs> it's a good one it's the triple m, m. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. see what you did there. <laughs> so i mean because usually what happens is people come on because of the tarot aspect but not just that because mm. to be honest it would be a really expensive way of learning tarot right mm. Mm. but like there's a there's something more there's that soul element there's something in the life that mm. is transforming so what was it for you that was like okay this is the right course for me to do this is the call I think it's it, it partly just comes down to one of those things of flow. Like I think if you, um, I, I, it's odd. I just never really questioned it all that much. Mm. It's like I had the I put out the question, and the universe just came along with the answer, and I went, oh, okay, this that's, that's the, the, there it is. I just didn't need to overcomplicate it. And I was working in China before, and I just. Okay, but was that right? I think that's right. Yeah. Or did I go to China? Yeah. yeah, I can't quite remember the order of it. Yeah, that was. Um, but I remember coming 
yeah, you know, I had the resources basically to suddenly do it. Then I had the time and just everything just aligned. And yeah, it's it's one of those things. I never really overthought it. I never kind of thought, why am I doing this? It just slightly kind of happened. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those wonderful things where you just, if you don't, it's it's always that thing in life, isn't it? It's like we need to have a vision of what our life is going to be and where what it is we want and where it is we're going and all of those things. But so often the best things that happen to us are the things that just aren't planned. Yeah. So it's always that balance between, yes, you've got to have a vision, but also you can't shut any doors down of like, this is what my life is going to be. And I think the tarot is very much one of them. Like if you told me five years ago, oh, you're going to work as a professional tarot reader, I would have kind of gone, okay, yeah, I can kind of see it. But I would have been like, I don't really know how I'm going to get there, but fine. And so mm. it, it was one of those things. But I, I think also it really helped that, we had Fiona and she was she what was so attractive about the way that you approached it and the 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 tarot does live under this pull of misinterpretation excuse the pun um mm. and kind of common misconceptions and and uh, particularly like last night I was on TikTok and I was rolling I was scrolling through the um the tarot kind of um TikTok videos and the, the amount that are out there like find out what he thinks about you and there's like people talking to camera and saying oh he thinks this about you and he thinks and I was like no stop so I really had to hold myself back from being one of those trolls of like this isn't what the tarot's for stop it it's just like some people like that resonates some people that's okay but I think that's what really really attracted me to your teachings is it was much more about how do you bring your experiences? How do you, mm. how do you, because it's that always that thing of um, intuitive development and self development go hand in hand. You can't do one without the other. And that's what was really attractive about yeah. the way that you run the course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, and that's, and that's what gets transformative. So, mm. okay. so for you, it was like a flow because you were going through some quite intense stuff at the mm. time, weren't mm. you? You've been on mm. quite a journey. Yes. Um, is there anything you feel comfortable about sharing? Oh yeah, I am happy to share it all, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's um I can't quite it's a, it's a funny thing because I my my memory is a bit shocking sometimes. I'm like, yeah, I know it was difficult, but I can't quite remember. Time. But I remember my health being a big problem. Yeah. Because I I just I just kept fainting, like I just kept collapsing. Mm -hmm. And only now do I realise actually that was about being so ungrounded like just being so out of my body, so out of the worldly experience, so kind of escapist that actually my body, the only kind of the last recourse it had was just to get me on the floor because it was like, right, you are going to ground. You yeah. are going to get in your body. Um, so that was, it was that the health stuff was going on. on. Um, I think one of my big pitfalls that I was always coming against and still working through is the amount of pressure I put on myself and how hard I work and like it's always about kind of needing to do more and more and more as opposed mm -hmm. to just kind of settling into so it's funny that the tarot came in through the flow but every, but then even even my kind of old predilections with the tarot is like I've got to be really good at this I've got to do a really good job at this I'm gonna yeah. yeah 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 so yeah. that kind of yeah kept coming up once or twice <laughs> <laughs> on the course if you remember um i do <laughs> yes <laughs> you did that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you um, know i've also realized that that is quite a thing that intuitives do right mm -hmm. so um mm -hmm. you know kind of i've part of my journey this year is just uh i've noticed 10 symptoms of being intuitive you know mm -hmm. and that over trying overdoing mm -hmm. Mm. Um, is is so because I think you just um you're trying to prove something that's not provable exactly and it's like exactly. you're trying to be okay with it not being provable um and it's a big thing because it's like you're trying to protect yourself in absolutely a way by doing that and actually that's the dangerous thing and um, so you know um that's been quite quite a big thing you know that you also gave gave me you know your best students are also your best teachers right mm -hmm. and it's like a real conscious moment of like ah this is what's happening this is what's going on mm -hmm. you know so 
Yeah, so I think you had quite a journey around your holistic health, really, throughout. Mm. Mm. Um, and then you just flew more and more and more, quite literally, on horseback, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, I'll get, sorry, I was going to talk about the um, the horseback thing, but I just remembered b before we came onto the call, you remember one of the things that you do, uh, not too much of a spoiler alert, but um, people pull a card for you when you join the car the call and then you, you yeah. pull a card for yourself. So I, and I remember my card being judgment. I remember, and I remember you going, oh my goodness, something's going on here. And I was a bit oblivious at the time of, oh, okay, yeah, cool. Okay. <laughs> she was slightly looking at me, like, oh, of your eye, thinking, oh God, what's going to yeah, And I remember, actually, I really did go through the judgment kind of card in the course. Like it was a real kind of rebirth in so many ways and like real shared of things and real kind of, real, en en like this energetic rebirth. So I just, oh, yeah. it's amazing that card, isn't it, for that? Because it's like when you get, through all of those judgments it's like the very next card is the end card of the world it's like the world opens up for you because mm. you've got through your judgment and actually that's what's happened for you, mm. you know, after ttt as it was then now mm -hmm, mm. <laughs> you got on horseback and you went around the world and then you came back and the world opened up for you that's yes. What happened? That's a, yes, gosh, I've not thought of it in those uh, <laughs> those terms. Absolutely, absolutely. yeah, because I I went across because we were meant it was meant to be six months. So my mother and I were planning to go from um, Spain up. So it was Valence in Spain to Valentia in Ireland. So we we're going to do the whole thing on horseback, and it was meant to take six months. So we we're going to go on the ferry and go across. So we left with three horses all the one of them carrying the pack and it had all our tents and all our equipment in it and uh and we set off and it was the wettest uh may since records began in france <laughs> so it just the whole thing was literally a washout it was a washout we had hail we had lightning we had snow we had it was just <laughs> it was so, so it was um and the, the place that we were headed to when we stopped the the trip three days later the place that we were headed to was declared a national disaster because there was just all these mudslides happening so somebody was really looking out for us because to be in the middle of that with three horses but it was the most it was by by far the hardest thing I've done but also one of the most rewarding absolutely and it was when you came back that it seems like your trajectory has just gone from strength to strength to strength so it's it's feels like that must have been like a real sometimes we don't understand why we do things but yes. it's like, there's a reason and you know maybe you'll understand this lifetime maybe it'll be when you go up there and you see your whole yes dream that you understand but it looks it looks like you just you did this ttt you went on the horseback thing it was a real challenge you came back and then it had cleared which yes. is the judgment card and so since then, you, I mean, my, from what I've seen, you've just naturally, and I know you're a hard worker, you know, you're a Leo. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> being creative is just like, you know, but you said something earlier about vision, mm. you know, and um, I'm getting a bit of feedback. These are, these are now too good, these two big, two masculine earphones. I think you sound okay on, on yeah, you're sounding okay. Okay, good, okay. So, um, yeah, my, I can't remember where I was, but seeing you vision. from, yeah, that's it, thank you. You said something about vision, and I think that is, I mean, I've been talking a lot about vision and vulnerability and um, visibility, the three mm. bits. Which is quite interesting because you just said two things. You said yes, Valence and Valentia. Yeah. Okay. Now this is what happens when you get two psychics together. It all goes a little bit. Okay. So now you are. Oh, Vicky's here too, and and Christine. That's so many people joining. So we're gonna we're gonna get into the tarot a bit soon, but. I think part of the reason Singles had a lot of success is the vision. You know, there's this kind of thing of like being visionary and having a vision and 
mm -hmm. going for what you want mm -hmm. and being open to the fact that it's not always going to make sense like mm -hmm. the horse is. So yes. It's always going to look like an age fee. In fact, it never really does. Yes. Would you say that's been the secret to, I mean, what's been happening for you? So yeah, one of the one of the first things I did when I set up the Wellness Foundry was I made a vision board of the Wellness Foundry, and it was as simple as like even just the colours that I wanted to use, or even the aesthetic. Like I even put kind of like these images of of people wearing linen, like really really weird stuff. But I was like, that's the kind of feel and the aesthetic that I want. Like I want it to be kind of quite relaxed but quite stylish. Like, and so I just kind of made these vision boards. Um, part of it was also um, with Vicky's help um, to create an avatar of um, like so much, so often we can think about what it is we're doing, but it's also about what we want to attract in terms of our client base is really, really, really vital as well. It's like mm -hmm. we can petition that as well. We yeah. can say, this is the type of person I want to work with. This is their, they've got to kind of be their belief system and all of that. So I think that was as much of it as as much as what am I doing. The other thing that I really have worked with, and it's not been an easy journey, um, but it is about how I can bring in the resources of other people and trust that and allow other people to take the bits that I, because it is when you're, when you're, particularly when you're a Leo, but when you're, when you're owning your own company, it's, it's quite easy to, um, not get precious about it but you've got a particular vision so you kind of want to stick to that but actually it's also about partly allowing other people in to kind of carry some of that with you so being very very and also not being afraid to ask for the help has been a big 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 mm. shift for me actually so the vulnerability piece yeah it's very key yeah in making your vision work and being visible and you know you're it's quite interesting you've got an eye mirror behind you you know we're talking so much about vision you know so you, you really are a visionary you're a visionary with tarot you're a visionary in your creativity and you're a visionary visionary magician in a way mm -hmm. because you've um i mean have you manifested things out of the thin air like time out telling people that you are um one the top sorry my nose is running this always happens when i go <laughs> I'm so sorry so um let me just do this <laughs> so top 10 tarot top seven top seven, <laughs> the top seven yeah, yeah i think they wanted to make it a top 10 list but they okay so how many times were you named in the top seven by time out top Twice. seven tarot yeah. list Twice. Twice. Yeah. In the in, I mean, were they running out of material? Because it seems. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, one was kind of it was more of a a list of tarot readers, and then one was more of a list of like um, uh, esoteric kind of activities. Ah, I see. So kind of, I yeah. got you. Okay, and so did. Did that come out of the blue and Cosmo and Metro? I mean, is this part of like, you've got the vision and then all these things have just come? The funniest one is when I did the Harvey Nicks job. So in the beginning of this year, I can't believe it was only this year, it feels it's great, but I did a national tour in each of their flagship stores, giving tarot readers in, in house. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they built me like this Bedouin tent in store. It was, ama it was an amazing experience. Mm. Um, and I remember going to the interview with the, with the woman and I said, oh, how did you discover me? And she said, oh, I have absolutely no idea. You just, your name just appeared in my inbox one day. I was like, okay, thanks guys. So it is, yeah, it has been a lot of that. It has been just, weirdly, it's just plonked in. Um, and it's always that thing, don't be afraid to ask for, for those things as well. Just put those petitions out into the universe as well. It's, yeah. Because we, we do, I think intuitives in particular, close down a lot because we have stories like I don't belong or I'm misunderstood. It's all that protection thing again. And before you know it, you've just like closed yourself yeah. right down. Um, yeah. So again, it's that vulnerability piece, but also to remember to delegate to the universe, right? Exactly. And hand it over. Exactly. 
because it, it's very easy as intuitives to think that that kind of link or that kind of connection should only ever be work, used within the work or or in the framework of a sitting. But actually, you, you can be making those petitions in your everyday life all the time. Yeah, we're always connected, right? Mm. Always mm. connected. Mm. And so mm. it's about remembering that that's who we are. We're, we're a co-creator all the time. Yes. Um, so that means we can do like things really quickly, pull magic out the hat really quickly, which we're going to do now, I think. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But thank you for sharing with us. Oh, you know, sure. it can be, I know that you, you work hard and you're creative and there's that side of it, but it's mm. like the success lies in both. Mm. You know? it's, it, and mm. finding that, that middle balance and allowing yourself to go forward and having the vision is, is key. Without that, I don't think anything happens really, does it? So, mm. yeah. Yeah. And it's really amazing to see your tra trajectory. I'm just always so excited by it. I can't wait. Will you come back again? Like, like maybe in, how long was it in time out? It was like within a few months. So maybe just come back next month and let's see. Have you um, taken over the world? With that one? <laughs> it's one month. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So take us through. What, what do you want us to do, Fingal? Fabulous. So you're just going to take your decks, but again, if you've got a card online or your Oracle deck, your tarot deck, and you're just going to shuffle it like you normally would, and you're just going to choose a card at random. Okay. So just allow, so, again, so, one that might ping out. Or Oracle, or just do it randomly online, yes? Just have exactly. a visual of a card. Okay. Yeah? Exactly. Okay. And then you're going to pull a card, and it could be from the top, the middle, bottom, wherever you feel is right. So mm -hmm. I've got the Ten of Cups. So you can look at it. You don't have to. It's it's not like a tarot feely. So you can kind of look at look at your card. Can I show people what I've got then? Want... Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You've got the Queen of Cups. Fabulous. So very often what happens is funny that we've been talking about the visual so much because the tarot is a visual cue and obviously one of the, the main kind of psychic senses that we use around the tarot is the visual. And that's perfectly right. It is a visual tool, a visual cue. And you can also use that um, uh, emotional tool as well. But we've actually got the eight psychic senses. So just like we have the five physical senses, smell, touch, taste, hearing, all of those things, we've got the eight psychic senses. So what I want you to do is I'm going to talk you through each of the psychic senses and you're going to look at the card or work with the card and allow that psychic sense to be activated by the particular card. So for instance, I will say clear alliance, which is clear smelling. So I want you to ask yourself, what do you smell in the card? Wow. So for this, it might be, oh, I'm, I'm kind of smelling fresh grass, or it might be that I'm smelling mud. It doesn't have to be related to the image, but it can also be, you can use that as a bit of a trigger. So you think, okay, what am I smelling in the? And again, you can put this in the uh, in the chat box. Yeah, and, and share. Then I want you to go. What can I hear in the card? If this card could speak to me, what might it say? Or what sounds might be attributed to the card that I've got? Okay, can I tell you what I'm smelling? Yes, of course, please. Um. So now I think I know why my nose was really running because it's eucalyptus. <laughs> Like oh, nice. I really nice. Do. just from you saying like um what did, what is the smell? I feel totally transported into this card. It's like I'm so alive, it's no longer a card. It's like I am in a Moroccan um hammam or something along those lines, and it's oh, okay. delicious. Yeah, I love, and this real sense of kind of, because that's very much what the Queen of Cups does. She's very soothing energy. She's very kind of, oh, yeah. she's a big, breath. oh, I love that. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, so that's good from one question, and you've got several? Yes, yeah, yeah. So okay. we'll go through. Um, so the next is what can you hear? So for me, it's almost like these um, these cups are kind of ringing like those, you know, the Christmas thing, the ding, 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 ding. So it's really kind of ringing in the changes. It's kind of the celebratory, the town crier. 
Da, 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 heavy, heavy. Heavy, <laughs> heavy, Exactly. Uh -huh. And okay, I'm I'm just hearing um, just I'm hearing running waters and um, Moroccan chants. You know, one of my favourite places in the world is the Hammam in Granada, where I lived when I met you. I mean, I didn't live in the Hammam. Well, I kind of did, but, you know, but it's just like I'm being transported back. It 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 was the most authentic spa. You know, proper candles, not the fake. Mm. That we have to have for health and safety and yeah. chance. So I'm back there. Ah, oh, thank you. I don't oh. even catch a plane. Cheers, Fingal. You're so welcome. You're so, but it's amazing, isn't it? Because you yeah. exactly as you say, like they make the cards really come alive. Like anytime that you're laying down the cards, and if something's kind of stumping you, you're looking at something like, oh, I'm not quite sure what that's going to be. Try one of the other senses. Just be like, actually, what can I smell from this? And okay, sometimes the the smell might be obvious, but it's actually reinforcing things within the card anyway. So it might just be drawing your attention to that particular aspect of the card. Mm, wonderful. So then, then we go into sorry, sorry to, to, to All right. I'm just gonna give people some clear instruction because I'm okay. seeing that people are participating, they're saying what cards they've got, which is great. Um, but I think what might be best is if you just um, type a message and just like partially type it so all your answers are in one. Um, otherwise, it's going to get very discombobulated and hard for us to follow and be able to help you unlock further. So if you maybe just be like, OK, my card is this and that's the answer for the smell, that's the answer for hearing. And then at the end, you send. Um, I think we'll be able to help you a lot more. All right, guys. So we're um, we're going to speed up. I'm going to stop yes. talking. Yeah, so much. yeah, yeah. Great. So <laughs> next, look at um, your clear sentience, your clear feeling. What do you feel in the card? Is it light? Is it? Oh no, sorry, wrong one. Um, what's the emotion attached to it? So do you feel joyous? Do you feel kind of calm? Do you feel nervous? What's what's the emotional response in the body? So yeah, okay. yeah. I've Got a release. It's like a real. Release would be my word. Carry on. Then, then you can look at Claire cognizance. So, what do you just know about the card? What just drops in? What do you just kind of instinctively or intuitively know? What just it's just kind of it's an undoubted. You just look at it and you go, "Yep, yeah, that's what it is." Okay. You don't have. To, sometimes we really overcomplicate things, and they sometimes yeah, just drop sure. in. And it is just the first thing that comes in, so it can be really quick, right? So, what's what do you smell? What do you hear? what do you uh feel. feel and what do you know yes which is the clear recognition side of things yeah okay and when, number five but when we go into clear tangency which is clear touch oh. so it can be either you could feel something in the card so maybe it's like mm -hmm. i'm looking at her do i feel the dress is very silky or is it rough or mm -hmm. or um is it a heavy dress or or how does the actual card feel does it obviously it feels like paper <laughs> but i mean in terms of does the card feel light <laughs> there's always one there's always one um so does the card feel light does it feel heavy what's the actual kind of felt weight or the there's a kind of tangibility what's the tangibility of the card because i just know that her dress is cotton i just yes. know you know, it's like, okay, fine. <laughs> Not arguing with you. All right, we'll move on. <laughs> so then you have obviously got the clairvoyance, which we see. So maybe just think yeah. what stands out for you most as you look into it. What colour, what symbol, what image? Is there something that you've never noticed in the card before? Yes. And I, I never, I'm so unobservant, which is why when... Darren Brown says all psychics are cold callers. I'm like, I'm the most unobservant person on the planet. <laughs> um, yes, there's a little fishy down there. I kept hearing goldfish, goldfish, goldfish. When I couldn't see it, so I started looking for it when you prompted me to. Now I've oh. seen it for the first time. There you go. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Amazing. And then I think we've gone to the last one. I've lost count. So we've got um, we smell. No? Yeah. Oh, so yeah, okay. And now, what can you taste in the card? Okay. Claire Gustavs. Claire Gustavs. 
okay. Claire Gustavs. Yep. So okay. what can you taste? Again, it could be something in the card or just a, a general thing. Uh, for me, I'm getting humbugs, like mint humbugs. Oh, nice. okay. Well, that doesn't sound very nice. I was thinking of insects. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because I'm thinking of sushi. Now I'm on this. Oh, no. Okay. No, I've got a craving for sushi. And then finally, we've got Claire Empathy. So this is check in with your heart. What does your heart say about me? So just um, imagine that little elevator down from the mind into the heart. Is there an, just a sense within the heart space? What's that telling you? Great. So thank you. You've given very, us very an incredible new world just from one card and questions. The power of questions is uh, really important for opening up our world being curious and going on your journey which you've had uh the courage to do in your life you know to come away from the corporate side of things and start the fool's journey and it's really good to see that it's been panning out for you uh so thank you for your time and let's You're go through very and uh see if anybody's actually gonna post what they got now or if i just put everybody off from being a micromanager because <laughs> i can't see any of the comments now um but we have got people saying what cards they've had and mm -hmm. i'm just going to go through the comments and see if there's any questions and maybe we get some people coming up so um esther is saying i'm so sorry not able to watch you live but definitely we'll watch later you two are fantastic and Tiffany, TTT changed me and is still changing me. Thank you. Oh, bless yeah. her. Second uh, she was She was in at the same time as you, I think. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Lovely to see. And uh, Sophie says, that's amazing, Fingal. The universe has your back. Totally awesome. So what's amazing? We don't know, but it's great. Thank you. <laughs> it's fantastic anyway, Sophie. That's brilliant. Um, everything's amazing. Richard says, um, sorry, he's late. His work's getting in the way. Sorry to hear that, Richard. Um, Sophie says she's got the four and is laughing a lot. <laughs> uh, Leslie's got the six of swords, but she's doing it in the Osho Zen deck, which is burden. Ah, uh, we've got some comments coming through now. So that's great. Now, now you're coming through with comments. We can we can feed back a lot more. Quite a few people got the four. Oh. Um, I can see from the comments. Three. Well, I am the fool from the tower, really. So it's, yeah, it's not really surprising. No, absolutely. And that is the magic, isn't it? That's also how he gets the magic. Yes. Thing. yes. Um, it's, so the fool, another person has said the fool and has said that they smelt freshness. A chime mm. wind, being an air sign in Aquarius, that fits energy and flow embrace it all and move forward card is light and colorful it's all coming together i taste the mm. and my heart is showing me an explosion of energy and potential such a great exercise thank you sophie you're very welcome very vanilla actually isn't it when you look mm. at i mean he is vanilla isn't he like he's vanilla he's yes not yes vanilla. yes yeah mm. wow Vanilla custard, I'm never going to see it the same again. Okay, all right. So now we have Leslie. It's one of my favourite desserts as well, ironically. Of course it is. I forgot that until then. <laughs> no, you just have to trust me that I did. My memory is not that good. Okay. So, thoughts. I'll show the burden. Smell fruit. Um, hear shouting in ear, dominant voice, emotion tired. What do you know? This is the direction and it's all okay. Ah, oh, yes. touch silk. Uh, mm. Freedom, taste lemon, kind of sweet though. So we've got some sweetness coming mm. in, like lemon, mm. vanilla, heart, Bit of sweet. Yeah, there's a real sense of like love coming in there, mm. Leslie, by the sounds of it, which is lovely. Love and care uh, to ease the burden. And Beth says, the card is the hermit, smelt smoke, and saw a lot of green, and yes. nurture, and home, and hibernation. Um, important, bless you. 
Okay, yeah. Um, no question, just happy to process. Hi guys, much love from Australia. Hello, Ali from Australia. Nice to see you tuning Hello. in. <laughs> Adele got the Ace of Wands, that's so funny. Um, you know, like Fiona's your birthday twin. Yes. Adele's my birthday twin. Okay, 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 okay. okay. August, aren't you? You're the 4th of August, you and Fiona? Second. Second. Oh, second of August. See, my memory really is not that. <laughs> um, and uh, me and Adele have been laughing about Ace of, of what it's been a Wandy week, and we've been saying, well, maybe we're just Leo, but she got the Ace of Wands. <laughs> Okay, thank you for showing people what it looks like. Keep it up. <laughs> oh no, that just sounds wrong with the Ace of Wands. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, move on. And uh, heard message, knowing power, gentle, strong, powerful thought. And she got it from the light seers. Um, I don't know. Do you see these comments? No, sadly. Okay. Oh, can you see it? Oh, I can. I can. Oh, that's exciting. So I'm going to get the Ace of Wands up from the Light Seers because I've got the Light Seers here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Else. But if you want to read Christina's out and comment on hers. That so Christina Austin said uh, she got the fall as well. Mountain fresh air. It's time. Shrunk and hesitant. I know what I have to do. Dress is light, easy flowing. See the mountains and the journey. Mouth is dry and heart is beating fast, which is nervousness. Oh. Suddenly realise that this mirrors what appeared in my meditation the other day. Fabulous. Fantastic. Don't you just love it when that happens? Okay, wonderful. And this was Adele's. And this is her mm. message, knowing power, gentle, strong, powerful thought. That really says it, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And Manu says, I feel very relaxed, soothing feelings, calm, the feeling that the burdens are finally over. So another theme of burdens. I love the collective messages when you do things like this. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like it's for all of us, you know, whatever mm -hmm. anybody offers up, it's all in the tapestry. It's beautiful. Um, so there's something here about, you know, a lot of energy coming collectively, isn't there, about soothing the burdens that we're all feeling. Yeah, I mean, it's been one of those years, right? Um, and the feeling the burdens are finally over. Eating nuts. So again, we've got like nutty vanilla custard with fruit <laughs> and lemons going on. And the smelling of green velvet. So green's making its presence mm. felt too. And her throne is made of stone. I think she got the Queen of Pentacles, if I remember. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what are you doing now? What's coming up for, for Fingal's life? So I'm busily writing uh, my book proposal. So I finished my book proposal for a tarot book. So hopefully Yay! that's going to get picked up at some time soon. Um, and Do you have a title for it yet? Unlearn the Tarot. Oh, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, very much on this. It's all inspired by you, obviously, but this don't look up the meanings. <laughs> it's not it's not a thing of meanings. It's yeah, much more kind of work intuitively. So it'll have little exercises like the one we've just done and, and those kind of things. So it's it's much more about getting the reader to engage as opposed to just studying by rote. Um and then I'm starting my third run of my intuitive development course as well in January. Wonderful. It's very, very exciting, the third iteration. Um, so that's taking people through uh, everything from grounding and protection to working with the chakras, energy healing, just all, of, yeah, the full gamut of, gamut, gamut of, um, I always thought it was full gambit, but I learned the other yeah. day it's full, full gamut, which is G-A-M-U-T. -G which I found out the other day um, when I was writing this book proposal. Um, yeah, so it's running the full gamut of intuitive work, basically. So I've been loving that. Well. Right in. I mean, you weren't just in TTT. You were in uh, with the College of Psychic Studies at the same time. I mean, you don't do anything by half. I think it's like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, like when you say you're going to, you know, your course is inclusive we know that you know you're going to give your heart and soul and it's going to be a very full picture um 
which I think is important because I think there are um, a lot of courses out there that leave a lot of stuff out and they just concentrate on the intuition and not like, well, actually, if this is upping, you've got to up some other stuff too. Otherwise, you yes. face, right? Yes, face exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it's, it's one of my kind of, one of the uh, promises I made for myself is to be, because I, thank goodness I found you, but that took a while, right? So it's it's like, this isn't always available and I want to be part of that solution of like, okay, this is another resource that's out there. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And when does that start? So the end of January, uh -huh. uh, January the 21st, I think is the official start date. But yes. Okay. And so if people sign up on this link here. Um, oh, fabulous. Yes, thank you for including it. Yes, amazing. Yes, this link here is uh, probably something I need to put in the comments, actually. Let me just do that because it's going to be easier for people to type it in. Let me just put that in the comments. And what happens if they sign up on that particular link? What? Yeah, so if you sign up on that particular link, you'll be put onto the wait list. And then because it's not fully, um, uh, there's going to be a, a bit of a kind of teaser as, as to working up towards the release of the actual spaces. So, okay. if you, so this yeah. is a waiting list for that particular course. Exactly. exactly. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. But if and you want to check out the full gamut of, uh, of what I do, you can just go on to the... <laughs> <laughs> you can go on to wellnessfoundry.com. Fantastic. I love yeah. it, Fingold. I love you. And it's just oh, amazing to explore. see your trajectory. Will you come back every now and again? And Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, just catching, catching up. Yeah, yeah, that would be great. You know, we often get so busy and so, yeah. like, limited. And it's just. Yeah great to kind of hook up and have double trouble neo fun Quite. Very fun. Quite. and uh, so yeah check out fingles um this is his sign up there for getting on the waiting list for the intuitive course you know this is as i said someone who's taken his learning very seriously and has learned to kind of also monitor that yes <laughs> yes Bring in the fun every once in a while. It yeah. <laughs> means you've got a lot of value. Yes, it's not just someone who's dabbled. This is someone that's studied, 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 studied. So he's taken it. His investment in it has been profound. And so what you get is going to mirror that. So that's the link to sign up. I put it in the comments box. Fabulous. Thank you. And those of you in the group from Thursday, Oh my God, that's tomorrow. Um, we have Be Your Own High Priestess, which is a five-day mm -hmm. journey. So you know like how in TTT we were doing, um, you basically journey through the 78 cards of the tarot and we do yeah. it in order because there is a soul evolutionary order. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but with Be Your Own High Priestess, I'm mixing it up for the first time. So oh. um, yeah, we're going to be journeying with, the High Priestess one day, then the Empress the other day, then Strength, then Star, then the World. Oh, so very Divine Feminine. Yes, nice. Yes, it is. I mean, I was going to do it with the twos because we've just done Be Your Own Magician. So that was like uh, the Magician, the Sword, the Cup, the Wand, the Pentacle. That makes sense, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because of the altar and uh, yeah. it's all one. And so I thought, right, I'll do this with Be Your Own High Priestess. And I was going to do it with all the twos. And I sat mm -hmm. down and was just like, no, a really clear message from the universe. No, you're not using those cards. You're using these cards. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. but I think, well, you know, it's the journey of Persephone with the High Priestess and Demeter. Mm -hmm. And then going mm -hmm. down to the underworld to find strength and then rising up with the star to the world. But I, um, yeah, I like what you say, divine feminine. There you go. Mm -hmm. So um, that's the link for your little book of all knowingness. It's going to happen in the group anyway, but if you want the little book of all knowingness to go with it, you want this link, which I'll also put in the comments after we've gone. Okay, I'm just going to put Fingal up there for one last time, but I have put it in the comments so you can copy and paste it. 
Thanks for your time, everyone. Thanks for joining live, and thank you, Fingal. And oh, pleasure, absolute pleasure. Thanks for having me. It was yeah, it's lovely. Really, it's nice to just check in with fellow intuitives. Just a reminder that we're not all going mad. No, or if we are, we are together. Yes, we're going together. <laughs> What's that song? We'll all go together when we go. Yeah, yeah. it's a it's a great thing to be. I think. Yeah. Uh, the divine fall, shall we say? Yes. Oh, I like the divine, that. Fall. the divine feminine, the divine fall. Mm -hmm. I still keep seeing a vision of you on a billboard. I just, well, it's just stuck in my head. So mm. I want to see if that's going to happen at some point. Mm. Not that I like to go into predictive things, you know, that's not really me, mm. but it's stuck in my head. Vision board, mm. next, next, next billboard. We'll see. <laughs> you have to let me know if that happens. All right. I've also. Fabulous. Cool. All right. Thank you so much. Love have a fabulous love. day, everybody. Lots Thank and lots of love. Hope you have fun. Bye. Bye. Bye.